Good morning, guys. How you doing? Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I'm your host, James Borman. And if you are coming through to watch, um, please do drop a like. Please do drop a comment. Let me know uh, that you're here. Please do share. We're fucking here at Wembley. Usually my shitty little office, okay, or walking down the seafront. But today I'm up in London at a seminar for a couple of days just doing a bit of PD. And I thought it would be wicked if I could do it in front of there. I thought it would be nice if it was a clear, frosty morning. But it's fucking hoying it down. And I'm under this like, little, just a bit of shelter here. Uh, so I hope you're good. hope you're ready for the weekend. And I thought today what we uh, really call cool is just to very quickly talk about um, you being honest with yourself. And I mean like ridiculously, brutally honest with yourself. Um, so I think whenever you start a journey, whenever you start knowing that you kind of need to change in some way or shape or form, right, as a, as a guy... And you're starting to see the telltale signs of unhappiness, frustration and stress as a, as a man, as a dad. Um, you kind of kind of take stock of the situation. Um, and something I talk about in my book, um, It's a State of Mind, on Amazon. Just plug that. Um, I talk about this at the very start. And understanding you as an individual, okay, as yourself. And... This little technique, this little strategy that I'm going to show you, tell you, I've talked about all the time. All of the time. And it's something I think you should do weekly. Weekly. Um, and it's a self-audit. Now, a self-audit is talking about where you are and understanding where you are across the board. So in health, um, business, personal development and relationships. So they're four pillars that we are working towards, right? And it's kind of looking at those situations. And I... Lads, I, I honestly mean being brutally honest. So if your health is awful but you think it's good because you think you go to the gym or you go twice a month and you think that's good or you think your nutrition's good but you never track your calories or you think your work-life balance good but you're staying an extra work, an hour at work every single night and missing out on the kids or you think your relationship's good and you're sitting on the sofa and you don't even talk to your missus because you're just on your phone. It's about opening, opening up Okay, and channeling all of those things that are not going right for you and understanding them because that is the key, that's the leverage okay, to becoming a much better version of yourself is being honest with yourself, allowing yourself to be vulnerable allowing yourself to say, hey, I'm not the fucking guy I want to be and actually doing something about that All right, before you move forward, before you start falling for the six week abs or the, like, I'm going to change my life in fucking what, one month sketches you've got to understand that at the very start of your journey you have to have a start point and you need to have uh check-ins about wait how you're getting on how you're moving forwards it's going to come this way a little bit because we are getting soaked um and you need to have something in place to check how you're doing if you're not honest with yourself if, if you can't be honest with yourself who can you be honest with and the amount of bullshit that goes on in men's mind and when men are talking to me and they're almost convincing them themselves that the actual situation is not as bad as it as it seems when actually it's probably worse than what they're making out and we as men exaggerate right we as men exaggerate and what we do is we bury our heads in the sand so it's like that niggling problem and you know you've got to deal with it and one of the talkers yesterday was talking about this and like having this issue and uh, he was talking more about in, in business terms but in life for you and I thought it was a really great point every single one of us has got that thing that we've got to sort out that we've got to knuckle down and solve that problem but we're probably not taking the time to be honest with ourselves and actually realising what we've got to do to solve that problem we're just coasting through life tumbling through life trying to get by each day and we're constantly neglecting ourselves. We're constantly neglecting the work-life balance. We know there's an issue. We, we know there's an issue, but we're not dealing with it. Okay? And I think the self-audit really is an eye-opener. And you, you do it impulsively. Boom, boom, boom. You, you score yourself out of 10 in those four pillars. 
and then what you do is you sleep on it over a weekend or 48 hours and then you come back to it after having thought about it a couple of times and then you put your scores down and that is your start point that will tell you exactly where your biggest your the number one area where you want to focus on first okay um, and then how you're going to grow and build from there but lads if you are ever going to develop yourself if you're going to be the best version of yourself if you're on my five day challenge next week the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to start looking at where you are right now and that little self awareness bubble that you're hiding in Okay, it's going to get popped. And when it fucking pops, guys, all right, there's going to be some realities and truths that are going on that you are going to have to face before you move on. It's not a case of just starting working out because your working out is not lasting any more than two or three weeks. It's about looking at the core root of the problem to leave a John and build. Okay, and a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people don't want to know the truth. A lot of people don't want to identify that the fact that their lives are not great at the minute. But it's a necessity to to fucking go down before you come back up okay it's like the old elastic band you put it back how far ever you put it back bang is the distance that you're gonna go all right guys sorry it's a little bit early this morning but i'll just be standing around in pissing rain otherwise so monday we start the five day fire it up challenge there's a link on here somewhere register five tasks five pillars okay five days of free coaching with me and accessibility to be able to ask me any questions work on the structured format that we've got trying to improve you the whole purpose of it is trying to improve you okay but if you can't show up halfway with your excuses it's not going to be for you all right i'm looking for guys that are willing to meet me halfway willing willing to be committed to um to do something about it raising their self-awareness all right guys um it doesn't matter if you've done it before you're welcome as many times as you can do it all right guys i keep saying all right guys all right guys all right, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, I've got last night here. I've got Spartan tomorrow. If you're at Spartan, make sure you come and say hello. Um, uh, and then a christening on Sunday. So it's all go. And then we're going straight into that challenge. Have a great weekend. And I'll catch you soon.